In this video I want to show you how to answer problems that start with I think of a number. So there are I think of a number problems and we've got three problems we're going to have a look at here. The first one says I think of a number, add 5 and the answer is 11. Now you might well be able to work this out in your head but we're going to explore function machines and so we're going to draw a function machine for this problem. So the number I've thought of is the number I don't know at the moment so I'm going to write a question mark for that. Okay, um, and it says that I add 5 to it, so the first thing that happens is that I add 5. And this is a function machine we're drawing here. And the next thing that happens is I get the answer of 11. So that's our forward function machine. To solve the problem, we're going to reverse the function machine, and we're going to go right to left. So we start with 11, we've got the one box, and we need to get our answer. To reverse the function machine, we go backwards, we go right to left, and instead of adding, we do the opposite of adding, which is subtracting. So we do take away 5. 11, take away 5, hopefully you should know that the answer to that is 6. Okay, So that's the answer to our first function machine. Right, let's have a look at another one. I think of a number, divide by 7, and the answer is 3. OK, this is one calculation again, so it's another one-stage function machine. Um, the number I thought of, what do I do? I divide by 7, and my answer is 3. OK, reverse the function machine, start with the 3, move right to left. The opposite of dividing by 7 is multiplying by 7. 3 times 7 is 21. So that's our function machine. Now, what we ought to do, perhaps, is check. And we say, I think of a number, I divide by 7, and I, uh, the answer is 3. So let's say, if I thought of 21, and I divide by 7, and the answer is 3, check. OK? We didn't check the first one either, so let's just do that. I think of a number, 6, I add 5, 6 plus 5, and the answer is 11. Yes, that's right. Now, these are quite straightforward ones, but we're going to look at a slightly harder one here. Um, I think of a number, multiply it by 9, subtract 3, and the answer is 21. So I think of a number, the first thing is I multiply it by 4. We've done two things here. I subtract 3, and the answer is 21. OK, when we reverse it, we go right to left again, and we do the boxes in the function machine in the order we come to them. So the first box was the the last one we did going left to right, but it's the first one we hit going right to left. Minus 3, subtract 3, so the opposite of that is adding 3. The next thing we do, multiply by 4, well the opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4, and that will give us our answer. So let's work through that. 21 plus 3 gives us 24, 24 divided by 4 gives us 6. And let's just check that works. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 subtract 3 is 21, which is indeed what we were meant to get. So we can give ourselves a tick there, and that's correct. And this is how we use function machines to solve I think of a number problems.